Hello, I am Greg Rostami and we are from Marax and this is the Photo Finder GPS. This is the most exciting thing that has happened to digital photography ever since actually digital photography itself. The Photo Finder GPS automatically tags exactly where you are on the earth when you take a photo and it works with every digital camera out there. It can be as minimal as a $30 disposable digital camera that just came out. It can be as maximum as a high-end SLR digital camera that you would buy for ten, twenty thousand dollars Now the way that this works is it's purely based on time. As long as your digital camera is set to the same time as our Photo Finder GPS, which by the way happens to be nothing more than just time, then both of these devices are now in sync. When you take your photos and you download it into your computer, actually into the software, our custom software that comes with our device, and you download this GPS log information into the computer, these two pieces of information are now married together. That means that now, regardless of what kind of camera you have and what kind of pictures you take, if you have a Photo Finder GPS in your pocket, you now know where in the world the picture was taken. Now, there's a tremendous amount of applications for knowing where you were in the world when your photo was taken. One application is, let's say you are a location scout for Hollywood. Okay, you're out and about in the world, you find a beautiful location. Usually, location scouts have to bring out maps, have to record their information, the location, they have to put little pinpoints on a map. Well, that's kind of cumbersome, right? Whereas, what's really exciting about location scouting is just seeing the location and taking a picture. Well, now, because of the Photo Finder GPS, the location scout drops it in his pocket, they forget about it for 21 days because remember the battery lasts for 21 days it is a lithium-ion polymer so now out and about in the world you take some photos you're excited about that location you never have to record in any map information as long as you've taken some photos there you now know exactly where in the world that is also our application allows you to upload this information online so that when it comes time for you to share this information with other users it can be family friends or for business applications or business ties, then with only one button, all the photos get uploaded either onto Flickr, Loker, or even Picasso's web albums. So now, very easily, somebody else not only can see the photos you've taken, but they can also share in the experience of where it was in the world. That really helps clarify the environment and tells an entire story. So that is the Photo Finder GPS. In our case, ours is a little special because as we scroll down, you'll notice that there is a map view right here on the left-hand side. You can click on View Map and it will give you even a larger representation of the map with your photos actually scattered across the map. And if I turn on a satellite view here for you, we can see that these photos actually were taken at the Rose Bowl here in Los Angeles. And I'm going to keep zooming in closer and closer. In fact, I'm going to zoom really close to the front entrance to the Rose Bowl. Here is somebody that looks very familiar. There am, there am I. There is the entrance to the Rose Bowl and you can see that this is exactly where my wife was standing when she snapped this photo of me standing in front of the Rose Bowl. And please remember, the only thing that had to happen was as long as you had a photo finder GPS in your pocket, the rest of it was automatic. Now, one of the most exciting features here in the web browser is a button at the top that says View in Google Earth. When you click on that button, the application automatically launches the famous Google Earth software. Here, we can see that not only is the same set of photos as they appear in a previous map view, but now, instead of this appearing two-dimensionally here on our computer, the most exciting thing about Google Earth is all of this information happens in 3D, which is just amazing. So now, we've added a whole new dimension and we've really personalized your photos. So it's no longer just a location that's foreign to you. These are locations with your own personal photos that are attached to that, to that area. Here's uh, a couple other photos that I took when I was at the Rose Bowl. So you can see exactly the location that I was standing and in a moment the internet will load that photo so you can see what the photo looks like. Come on internet! <laughs> there it goes.
<laughs> There's the photo exactly at that location. Uh, and sometimes, even when you're trying to tell a story with our application, you can go back to the web browser, select any one of these photos, and what I love is this little play button right here. When you hit it, not only is it now taking you through chronologically, you know, over these photos, but it's also, as you can see, moving the map that's underneath it, showing you the path that you traveled when you took these photos. So it's great for uh, if you're just surveying an area, as you zigzag around an area to take photos, it's a wonderful log of what you have done. So you don't necessarily tree tracing over the steps you had already taken. And that's it.